Welcome to Blue Lion Finance, a special news edition due to the week we have ahead of ourselves. I'm Ari, and for those of you tuning in for your very first time, this channel is all about investing in my personal financial journey. Though today we are here to discuss the market volatility, which I only foresee really ramping up as we approach June 15th when the Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell is likely to hike interest rates by potentially 75 basis points. And before we get going, tap on that thumbs up button and help me grow this channel. And if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and make your way over to doing so. I'd love for each and every one of you to be on this journey with me. Now, YouTube, here for the breaking news. Let's dive right in. So fear has clearly been reignited in the market as it seems like total pandemonium out there with global stock markets falling sharply. This past Friday, the Consumer Price Index or CPI report, which gauges inflation, came in much hotter than expected at 8.6%, which ultimately re-sparked market concerns that action from the Federal Reserve will be forced into aggressive monetary policy tightening to rein in inflation, which if too aggressive of a move is made, central banks risk tipping the economy into a recession. Now, Federal Reserve officials will be meeting on Tuesday and Wednesday to discuss their next monetary policy move, and the Federal Open Market Committee is now expected to announce at bare minimum a 50 basis point interest rate hike on Wednesday, but now rumors and bets of a 75 basis point hike are surfacing in light of Friday's CPI figure. To say the least, this coming week will be insanely pivotal in the battle against soaring inflation for global central banks and markets, which is going to make for one heck of a volatile week ahead of us. However, I am here to urge each and every one of you to simply take a breath and do your best to disregard the noise on the street to avoid panic selling, which is the worst investment move that you can possibly make this week. It is indeed an opportune time, however, to exercise Buffett's advice in being greedy when others are fearful. If you are investing into high quality stocks with a long-term timeline, say the next two to three to five plus years, you will likely fare very well in terms of an ROI. After all, there's a reason why the wealthy tend to grow even wealthier during such downfalls as they're not thinking about about the near term, but rather the long haul. So with that being said, recognize this week will be quite a roller coaster ride, proceed with long-term optimism, and embrace this time to buy discounted stocks or even the entire market with a broad market index or ETF. Now, YouTube, I wish you luck this week. And before we get going, make sure you tap on that thumbs up button as it greatly helps me out in growing this channel. And do us both a favor here in subscribing to the channel. I would love for each and every one of you to be on this journey with me. Now, YouTube, thank you for joining me on this special edition of Blue Lion Finance. Breaking news. Until our next video, I will see you all there.